Assalamu alaikum girls. Welcome back after the holidays. Today we are going to cover section 6.12 that is on expert systems. When the objectives we want to cover in this section include being able to identify a range of applications which use expert systems. So we will talk about mineral prospecting, car engine diagnosis, medical diagnosis and so on. And we will try to identify what are the components in an expert system and describe how it is used to suggest diagnosis in different situations. As a starter, think what can you call a computer program that acts like an expert in a given topic. When we talk about expert systems, these are actually special databases. They are designed to mimic or copy the expertise that a human person has who is an expert in, diff in a specific field. So when you think of it, knowledge from human experts are very crucial and they get entered into the system. Once that is done, users can ask the system questions, then the system will search for the data and provide an answer so that the user is able to diagnose some problem. An expert system can thus provide answers to difficult questions the same way a human expert can answer difficult questions. So where might you want to use these things? When you have an expert system, it can allow doctors to make accurate diagnosis of a patient's illness. So what will be there in this expert system? The data from many medical cases from the past and the diagnosis of those cases. Then a new doctor can come and ask this system if a patient is having such and such disease, such and such symptoms, then what disease do you think he has? Another application can be that you can find out the exact species of animals using expert systems. So the expert system will be a huge database containing lots of details about the animal. It's, for example, if it's about fishes, the fin color, how many gills it has, whether it has a, a fin on top or not, what is the color of its eyes, what color strips does it have, how many number, all sorts of things. And once you enter the data of the fish you have, it will find out which exact species of fish that is. The other uses of expert systems other than diagnosing a patient's illness and searching for the correct species of an animal. You can also use expert systems to search for oil or mineral reserves, play chess games, identify plant species, animal species and so on and even diagnose faults with cars. So how would it work of diagnosing faults with cars? If you have an expert system that does this job, you will enter into the system what are the problems you find with your car. Maybe it is leaking some oil, the uh, window does not scroll down or things like this. And then the expert system will tell you such and such is the problem with your car and such and such are the things you need to do. What are the components of an expert system? What is it made up of? A uh, components of the expert system are as follows. It has a user interface, an inference engine and a knowledge base. The user is in touch with the user interface of the expert system. The user will ask a query or a question to the user interface and the user interface will give an answer as advice. But how is it able to get this answer? It works with the inference engine which works with the knowledge base where is all the big database and then it gets an answer as the advice. And how is this knowledge base built? This knowledge base is built with the knowledge or expert advices from experts in different topics which will be doctors for medical, scientists for animal species diagnosis and so on. The user interface is actually the screen in which the user is going to type his query. So here you can see for example an expert system to check for what symptoms you have. You have to enter details like your gender, your age and so on. So this is the user interface, the thing that the user is in contact with. 
it will accept input from the user and eventually give advice to the user. The inference engine will handle that query that the user is asking. It will search the knowledge base to get the correct information and depending on what data the user is inputting, the inference engine will do two things. Either it will pass information to the user interface telling about the problem and then you can, the user can give more information and then the expert system can find out the actual issue or it can directly give some advice to the user if the information it got was good enough. And all of this has back end as the knowledge base or the rules base. It is a big database which is populated by all the experts in that field and this itself has two things. The knowledge base which is the expert information in it and the rules base which determines which knowledge needs to be used. So it looks like an expert system is very useful but let's think of what are the advantages and disadvantages of these expert systems. The advantage is that the system will make fewer mistakes because it will never forget the answers to the problems while people can forget. And an expert system will have more knowledge than a single human expert because the system has collected and combined the advices and knowledge of many experts in the field. Using this system can also be cheaper than hiring very hum expensive human experts and it can cost you less in the long run. Also the expert system will give you more consistent answers because whenever you ask the same problem, the same answer will be given. But what are the disadvantages of these expert systems? These are eventually computer systems and they cannot make further judgments or use common sense to solve issues. Also, if there are errors in the rule base being used, this can lead to incorrect decisions being made. And the people who use expert systems will need a lot of training to enter the correct data before they use them correctly without errors. Some past paper questions that are asked in this section include the following. Describe three benefits of a doctor using an expert system to help diagnose a patient's illness. So what were the benefits to the doctor? The doctor can be helped to make a more accurate diagnosis and the doctor has access to the expert advice of many expert doctors, not just one person. Uh, eventually this is cheaper for you than retraining the doctor whenever new diseases come up and so on and the diagnosis given will be more consistent. As a plenary for today's lesson, let's watch a video on an expert system called Deep Blue, which outsmarted the world's best chess player few years before. And this will help you to keep thinking about further applications of expert systems. Also note that this topic is very often asked in your exam paper so make sure that you are clear on the applications of expert systems. The world was paying a lot of attention and we weren't quite used to that. Chess events never get covered like that. It was probably the biggest news coverage for a chess match ever. We were trying to prove that it was possible to build a chess machine that could beat the best human player in the world. It's also challenging Kasparov in any way. I mean, he's the pinnacle of chess. He, he's incredible genius. There were people who, even if just a few years before, said it was going to take decades to do. The chess world all expected Kasparov to win because the human had always won before. We'd worked very hard in the intervening year uh, to improve Deep Blue in, in various ways. I spent a lot of time in the office playing a lot of practice games, uh, looking for lots of errors that needed to be fixed. And, and we were pretty confident that it would do better. But then we got to the match. That was the chance to see, did we make a difference? Gary Kasparov has arrived. He was under tremendous stress, I, I imagine. 
the program wasn't behaving the way he was expecting. He thought that he was going to figure out the computer. And he, he wasn't mentally prepared for it, I think. I mean, the whole game was surreal. What was he doing? It didn't really make any sense. Whoa! Deep Blue has instantly sacrificed with Night Capture's E6. Deep Blue was just sitting there and just keep on attacking, just moving pieces around. And he knew he was in trouble. But at the end, Kasparov just, he stands up, he starts gesturing, he looks over at his mother. I, I think having your mother in the room where you're playing it important chess game is not a great idea as much as I love my mom. I was dumbfounded and elated at the same time. Uh, I was dumbfounded because I never see him behave that way. He never imagined the world champion and actually somebody who I have great respect to be just raising his hand up in, in surrender. We, we demonstrated that there are multiple approaches to solving probably any intellectual problem. But back then it wasn't the case. Everybody would look at the computer and say, well, yeah, it's good at some things. It, it calculates, but it doesn't understand anything. I work on this for 12 years. So you can imagine how, how much energy we went to it. When I started, I was like, it was done in five to 10 years. I was wrong, but it, take, it took 12. So I, I was great it was over, really.